Dylan. Hey, it's Nat. Listen, Vivian Wood is a fake and an all-around bitch. Her assassin just paid me a visit. We got a warm Knox. Well, I'm at his house right now. You are? Um, you know what? Call Alex and meet me at the agency. Dylan! <sighs> Dylan! Don't stand next to the window, because it's not safe. Hey. Ooh, Toga. <laughs> mm. Oh, God. Mm. Listen, I just found out that... Who's that? Working undercover? Well, it's a full-service job. Hmm. I'll bet. I can see by your, uh, gown that you're unarmed. Some maniac could just stroll in off the street and blow you both to bits. Hey, Viv, you're obsessed. All work and no play makes Viv a dull girl. Just gotta tie up some loose ends here. Why don't you take a seat? Want some champagne? Sad news. Your girlfriends are dead. Corwin? Straight. You're a woman. Women have natural intuition, and you're a detective. When well, you had no idea that this was gonna happen. I knew. Uh huh. She knew. And I know what's gonna happen next. Tell her, baby. Mm. All the angels are going to heaven. And Bosley. Oh, we're gonna keep him. We like him. And his computer too. He's special. Uh huh. Corwin had nothing to do with this. No, but I never really liked him. And the kidnapping was a setup. Afraid so. And Red Star was a setup. Uh-huh. You got it all figured out. Any other questions? Why? Ask your boss. Charlie? You're after Charlie. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. They say that in death, all life's questions are answered. Can you let me know? Let's go get Charlie.
What did it look like? Uh, I don't know. It was like, uh, all cool and stuff. You've never seen a booby. Have two. Have not. <laughs> I've seen lots of boobies. You're right. Yeah. Uh -huh. A little help? Don't ask. Where's Knox? Is he okay? He's great. He's the bad guy. The kidnapping was a setup. He's behind the whole thing. What? Why? He wasn't exactly forthcoming when he shot me off the window. <laughs> Him. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. Bosley is with the man who just tried to kill us. How does that make him safe? Because he won't kill Bosley until he kills Charlie. Kills Charlie? Oh, Jesus. Look, I don't know what his plan is, but I know that we can stop him. we're dead, why would he blow up the agency? What does he want with Charlie? All we know for sure is that he wanted us to break into Red Star. You can imagine if this got into the wrong hands, how dangerous it could be. Knox used us to tap into Red Star's mainframe not to get back his software, but to gain control over their global positioning satellites. And with his software, Knox could match Charlie's voice over the phone. And use Red Star's satellites to track him. Why would Knox go to so much trouble to find Charlie? That's the guy who killed him. They were in the uh, Army Intelligence together. This was his best friend, and he turned on him. Knox thinks Charlie killed his father. So if Knox can intercept Charlie when he uses his cell phone... He can pinpoint his exact location. Yeah, but Knox has to get Charlie on the phone before he can start the trace. Well, no one knows how to reach him. The only person that Charlie calls directly Bosley. is... Bosley. 